My two ingredient strawberry jam is so, so good that you'll never want to buy store-bought jam again. Let's see how easy it is to make. I don't know about you, but my kids absolutely love strawberry jam and they would eat it every day if I would let them. So we have a really simple, easy recipe for you here that you can make in about 15 to 20 minutes. So we've started off with 600 grams of strawberries and I've added one cup of maple syrup to it and that's all the ingredients that we need. There is no pectin or no other sugar added to this recipe. Set your timer on for 15 minutes, turn the heat up to about a medium high, and then you just wanna keep going until the strawberries start to boil, as you can see here. Now, there's lots of bubbles here. It's not quite at a rolling boil, so you wanna keep going until you can't actually stir down that boil. So like I said, it takes about 15 minutes. Then what you want to do is bring it off of the heat, turn the heat off as well, and go ahead and skim off all of the foam that just naturally occurs on top of the jam. Now you could add a little bit of margarine or butter to it to actually stop it foaming up as much, but I find I just want to have two ingredients so it's easy just to skim it off at the end using a big spoon like you see here. Now it's up to you if you like to have your jam quite chunky. My kids really like a nice smooth jam because they have it pretty much every day in jam sandwiches. So I just go ahead and use a blender to blend everything up in the pan. It is pretty hot still when you're doing this, so just be careful with it. But you can see straight away that you're gonna get a really nice consistency very quickly as well. This isn't sped up at all, so you can see that this jam comes together in no time at all once you've gone through that boiling process. And look how wonderful it looks. Just pure liquid gold, we call it here. And it's also so good when you've gone and picked the berries yourself as well. So there we go. The next thing we need to do is just ladle it into our mason jars. I'm just using three of the small jars here. So you end up with about 750 ml of jam in total. Um, you may have a little bit extra left over as well, which is always nice just to snack on so the kids can try it as soon as it is ready. And it is perfect. There's no pectin in it. So you will need to keep this in the fridge for up to three weeks or pop it in the freezer. And it's good in the freezer for about three to six months as well. I do recommend if you are freezing it though, use the really good screw on mason jar caps for that. And that's it, that's our really simple two ingredient strawberry maple jam. I really hope you've enjoyed watching this. Let me know if you've ever tried making your own strawberry jam and perhaps this has inspired you to try this version with no pectin. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check out my other videos where you can see where I've used this in things like cakes, cupcakes and Welsh cakes as well. Thanks for watching.